Hello everybody, thank you for joining me. This is Game God Fluent, bringing you episode 9 of Let's Play Alif, the hardcore D&D style, as I sit up in my chair here, um, CRPG made an RPG maker, surprisingly. And Pioneer Valley Games really squeezed a ton out of RPG maker for this game. I'm really impressed with it, really enjoying it, hope you guys are too. Okay, we were on our way, actually. What is this? Did we just explore this? I want to say we did. Yeah, we've explored this at some point. Um, we were actually on our way to Ranger, weren't we? Which is H10, which would be... this way I think and I'm pretty sure yeah we explored that before H10 should be the letters go up and down the numbers go horizontally if I'm not mistaken um, I'm mistaken okay so I so H10 should be down. No, H10 should be up. <clears throat> no, it should be down. Wait a minute. Why does this not seem like the right direction? What is that? Moldy bread? Yeah, we'll take it. Won't be wasteful. Grab the moldy cheese wheel. We could always sell it, I suppose. We have to go down. I think it feels like this is the way we came from, though. And going down is not really an option right now. Two goblin grunts should be an easy enough. Fight. We have Liss now, who's a sort of defensive magical type of warrior. Very useful to the cause. 12 XP, 32 gold, moldy bread. Um, so up and down is the letters, huh? <clears throat> Wait a minute, I am going the wrong way. Right. I was on the right path. We have to go to the right to get to H10. I don't know. Apologize, guys. Gonna take me a while still to get used to this. I'm only at the point where I'm playing about one episode a day. So... We can just avoid them. For you, though. Ooh, this is a pretty good battle here. I'd like to play more, though. Goblin Grunt, Goblin Champ, Goblin Shaman. Let's take out the, sh the Champ. Um, the champ, and let's have you attack the shaman. Cut it, pretty good. Ouch. Regen, it's not a big deal. That one's burning. It's also got permafrost, which does not, oh nice, which does not get rid of the burning. Plus it's, he's weak. Um, <clears throat> nice. Well, he's not that weak. XP, 82 gold, rot potato, times two, moldy bread, whole out there's now level seven. I'm gonna continue running. Oh, there's a giant spider there. Cool, I kinda wanna fight you. Three kobolds and a recluse spider. Three level five kobold, level eight recluse, oh boy. Um... 
Actually, you go ahead and cast... Oh, you can't cast prayer. Cast a flash heal. No. Fireball on the recluse and... I don't think the recluse is cast magic. I'm not sure, though. Oh. It's been weakened to fire. I'm countering left and right. And evading. <laughs> um. Still can't prayer. Let's attack. Eek, but failed. Pretty hardy spiders, though, level 8. Nice. 33 XP, 66 gold, spider web found. Wild root and a blight cap. Level 9 blight cap. You don't have the technique to put any barriers up or anything. Look, oh! Ho, ho. Light cap just attacks. Fire is its weak point. So it's slashing. It's just about dead. So is the wild root. Um, it's just attack. It's not that close to death, is it? Put two of us to sleep. Mm. Let's go ahead and flash heal. Hold up here. Fireball the blight camp. Boom. Liss is still sleeping. Oh. Kind of in a tricky spot for healing. Alright, 27 XP, 64 gold, ginseng, and death camp found. Um. Oh, I can heal as well, I forgot about that. But I'm, I'm down to some low MP too. We should make it back to our town. But we're gonna go pick up that ranger gear if we can. I'm gonna try to avoid the next battles if possible. It's a big map to make it across. <laughs> I-9, what the heck? So horizontal. And this is going to go to H8. So we have to go around and down. I don't have the MP. I guess I could potentially use some potions. Let's just run. Even though it's a simple battle. Oh dear. I think ultimately I have to go down here. Or something. Leaf of Heather. Yeah, there's no getting around this to get to that ranger. Um, Smasher, G11. That's even further away. Let's get back to airmen. I do not know my way around too well. G9. The thing is, there's level scaling, which I'm thrilled about. 
actually, because it's going to mean that we r maintain a challenge throughout the game. And it's not overt level scaling, it's like, um, it makes sense. You're not going to suddenly get a demon just out in the woods here, like, or whatever, where it shouldn't be. The enemies make sense for their terrain, but being that they're always challenging, I have to manage my mana, my MP better, because I'm not going to be able to head back to town all the time. So I'm learning these things. It's a giant RPG. It's handcrafted. It's beautiful. It's going to take us some time. So now... <clears throat> H8. So Airman is just... You know what, though? While we're here, we might as well, like... Eye Gouger, where was that? Lethargus one, okay. Aver's Barong, I don't know what that is. J7. Quite a ways away. Go ahead and dog. Simultus. And that's it. So, let's head back to here. Um, so now we just need to go down one. Although, now that we got to G8, if I can get to G7, well first let's go Back to Airman. <sighs> there is enough fights, but I just want to kind of accomplish getting back to Airman. It's not as easy as I thought because we have to go around this. Yeah, around this mountain. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> We're in the F's, though, which are a bit easier, it seems. Enemy wise. Maybe instead of going this way, I actually took the long way going west. I should have went east and could probably go over, get around that way. I explored that. Trying to do this with a cigarette in my hand is a little tricky on the numpad. Night has fallen. Or for us. Iron ore. Kobolds and wolves. See, they're just level, level 5. It's not like we're, um... You know, it's not going to be a level 10 ogre in the Fs, basically. But, still going to chip away at us. We'll head back to Airman. I can, we need more strength. We have to level up soon. Once we get the next level, I'll go ahead and level up. Twenty-eight, fifty-two, four hides. Two hides from each timber or uh, timber wolf. Giant wasp and a red cap. basic stuff. Wow. <laughs> 25 XP. 
gold ginseng. And none of this is a waste of time because we're always leveling up here. We're getting XP, we're getting gold, we're getting ore. Another iron ore. So, with that iron ore, I should be able to blacksmith with the blacksmith hammer. F9, we're almost there, guys. I probably even could have got to Airman by going east when I wasn't up there. Where we previously came from. The game is enormous. So much content. We're going to be here for a while, so... Don't expect, like, massive story and contextual progress in every episode. It's going to be a lot of grinding, a lot of... Finding things out, searching for things. Very much like a TES game. Elder Scrolls of RPG Maker. Alright. One more screen and we're at Airman. We can go ahead and restock and resupply, heal up, and better plot our journey. There's some more for us. We've got three iron ore from that one. Wow. I mean, we can only craft iron, so I don't expect great things from blacksmithing right now. I missed something. Can you say it again? <laughs> What's my A L E X A going off for no reason at all? No. Listening. Stop. <laughs> All right. It's uh listening to me apparently. Did we come to this inn? I don't think we did. Tome, quill. It will cost four gold to rest for the night. Do you wish to continue? Yes. Please have a pleasant stay. Okay, so we did that refill us and everything. Gives us a file to save. It sure did. Oh, we're hungry though. No meal included, I guess. But let's just go try to blacksmith a little bit. Might have to turn the brightness in my on my computer up a bit. Blacksmith hammer. Let's buy a hatchet. We have the money now. So let's see what we can craft here. Huh, I guess we have to be by an anvil. Yeah. Blacksmith hammer. Iron ingots. Bone fragments. Um wow. Star iron, iron stuff, platinum, um, nothing too crazy. Wow, just the basic iron stuff that I'm looking at. Iron sh soldier shield. Strangely shaped shield with protrusions to protect one's arms, knees, and head has a dull sheen on the outside. Probably don't want to replace my star shield, spell shield. Okay, so that's everything. Lots of cool stuff when we have more. Not much we can do right now. Um, hatchets we can fell trees with. Let's, we're now, um, let's hit the fishing spot. I don't have a fishing pole? Where was the general goods merchant? Hmm. This was the alchemist, right? Yeah. Hunger. I don't want to starve to death. Wow, we have a lot of hunger.
Ooh, the mutton. They go different way. Like, they go different lengths. Moldy bread doesn't do much of anything. Ooh, ales do good. Definitely have to buy more food. I think the general goods was up here, maybe? No, that was the healer. I know, let's just come in here. This was the scribe. <clears throat> Create food. Should probably go ahead and grab that. Region poison, drain, cure. Um, let's go ahead and get cure. And what's the difference between heal and arch heal? Heal 2 quickly and painlessly removes small and moderate sized wounds, though the strain of casting the spell is a bit higher than Heal 1. Arch Heal 1 covers the caster and the entire retinue in a soft glowing light, which closes all small and minor wounds. So it's like a cure all minor. So let's go ahead and buy that for um, Halothir. Uh, maybe also give him Holy. And then let's save some of our money. Okay, create food. I'll go ahead and do that. Scroll of Cure, that'll go to Halothir. Scroll of Arch Heal to Halothir. And Scroll of Holy to Halothir. Um... We've got 10 points to spend, so let's start with myself. Hmm, where do I see myself going at level 7? We have a rest buff, too, from resting at the inn. Uh, I think agility, luck, intelligence, strength, strength, um, strength, defense, Intelligence, HP, Strength, um, let's make that one an Agility. Hope I'm not botching these stat ups too much. Lot there, you need MP, Intelligence, 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 Agility, Agility. One strength, another MP, um, another intelligence, a resistance, a def and that's it. Okay. Looks good to me. Midnight still does not have any attribute points. They seem to be going up, though, don't they? They go up on their own, it seems like. Liss. She's pretty ballin'. Not much intelligence to learn spells, but she only has five points. Let's go strength, 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 agility, luck. Cool. We'll save here. Um, now we've got some money to play with. Uh... See if I can go get a fishing pole somewhere. This 
This was just somebody's house. This wooden place was the woodworking place. They might have fishing poles. Mm, saw. Cutting of wooden logs. Let's grab a saw. They do not have... <clears throat> they have a lot of decor and stuff, but not what I'm looking for. At least he doesn't. The tinker might. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Lantern. I don't know if we have one. Fishing pole. Could buy a skeleton key. Fine crafting kit. Gem cutting kit. Prepping gems and jewels. And just decorations. Okay. Um... sewing kit which we have Let's see if we have a lantern maybe we have to start carrying the lantern around field items we do not have a lantern We have a saw, though. Okay, we can make furniture. Oh, and some actual gear. Black wood, jagged wood. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Let's try to go fishing. Oh, wait, lantern. What, does she have oil, though? I didn't see her have oil. She doesn't have oil. Where do we get the oil from, then? She has no lamp oil. I'm going to go ahead and buy the fine crafting kit and the gem cutting kit. Let's see what those two are about. Very fine and delicate tools useful for crafting intricate items. Flask, tall bottle. These are all decorative. Okay, these are interesting. Bracelets and necklaces and stuff. Which take a ruby and iron ingots. Look at this. We have a ruby. All we need is iron ingots and we can make any one of these. Farmer's bracelet, sturdy bracelet, which is made of unadorned metal, reduces strength to buff rate. A glossy blue bracelet, it appears to be composed of many interwoven threads, but it's actually all one long, long strand of metal. Excuse me, reduces intelligence to buff rate. A light green bracelet made of metal links, it fits tightly around one's wrist to prevent theft, reduces luck to buff rate. Reduces agility, debuff rate, resistance debuff rate, defensive debuff rate, reduces elemental damage. Oh, that's it. So we can craft one of these, which uh, is kind of cool, but nothing like groundbreaking. Um, is there an anvil in here by any chance? No, what's that? Fancy nightstand. Okay, let's check the gem. Gem cutting kit. Hmm. Dull fire gem. An uncut gem with a dull red hue. It feels slightly warm to the touch. Oh, augmentation gems. Additional fire, fire damage and can cause weakened fire. Ah. That's what a lot of this stuff is going for. Plus... I forgot that we can put individual stuff like a frost leaf we can augment our stuff with, so actually 
I've been missing out on that dull dark gem. Well, let's make... Oh, it costs a ruby, though. Um... That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a dull fire gem. And I'm gonna go to skill augmentations and start augmenting a little bit more. I wanna get fireball for myself, so... Um... Wow, I can I can augment enlist. Heal one. Spider web, thick thread like massive spider spilk. It's extremely sticky. Augmentation increases damage and can cause slow. Not something I'd put in heal. Ice. Um yeah, increases damage and cause slow. Let's put a spider web in there. And ice and create food, nothing. Nice. It's a nice little upgrade. To ice. It's really the only augmentation we can do though, huh? Flash heal, heal one. Fireball. Cure, yeah, that's it. Hmm, we can have it so holy increases damage and causes slow. You know what? I'm gonna deck out my own fireball. I have an idea here. Let's go back to the magic user. Hope you guys are enjoying this. I know it's not the most action-packed in terms of like making huge progress and stuff, but we're making incremental progress, learning the game. Stuff like that, I'm enjoying it. Hopefully you are too. Um, we already used our ruby, so no point in making iron ingots now. Um, let's hit this fishing spot first to catch anything then the spot disappears where was the magic shop right here yes okay let me get a fireball spell or is there fire too even no All right, let me get fireball it on myself. Um, go to augmentation. Put the dull fire gem in there. Additional fire damage. It can cause weak to fire and can cause slow and increased damage. Let me equip this skill. I have to take something off. right now. You know what? Keep Ultima. Get rid of the the um, revival for right now. Now I have to see how long I've been playing because I feel like all this has taken a, a bit of time. 33 minutes. Still got about 10 minutes left. Um, okay, so that's done. Oh, lists your gear. Hmm. Could rely on her uh, to do that. Let's see. Uh, let's see what other items we have. Torches don't really work outside, only in dark dungeons. We would stand to do better by buying more rope. Um, who would have that, though? The, I don't think the healer would have that. Alright. 
array. No, but we could buy some stuff here that we need anyway. Let's get a Saint's Potion or two. Tonic of Purity removes all that stuff. Also removes all diseases. Let's buy one of those. Tonic of Cleansing. All poison and stuff. Holy Water deals damage to undead. Turns them as well. Potion of Great Health. Restores a lot of... Okay, we have eight potions of minor health. Splints, immobilize broken limbs. Buy another one of those. Bandage. Keep them from bleeding. Water, ginseng. Let's go hit the grocer. See if there's a fishing spot up here. see one. Oh, right there. Caught a fish. Okay, it's just regular fish. Maybe there's like rare fish and uncommon fish and stuff like that. There's the grocer, but the idea the guy I'm thinking of was actually in... Was it here? No, you are the blacksmith. town is so big it's hard to keep track of of it all in I think it was actually here yeah the jeweler what did you have for us oh we could buy this stuff well buy a sapphire, I'm gonna buy a ruby. <sighs> Probably unlock something in the gem cutting kit. Okay, we can make more gems. Oh, we don't have a snake skin. Beast Sling. Deals damage bonus to Beast. Don't have Glittering Star. Okay, these take Sapphires. Elixir of Defense. Elixir of Resistance. They'll sound like I could... Like, familiar, like the Potion Maker had those. We'll check. And then we'll also put... Um... Like a dull ice gem. That's not what I wanted to do though. With my ruby. What am I doing? Talking and not paying attention. Nice, let's put a dull ice gem in. I wanted to actually um buy a ruby. I hope we have enough left over. Now I want to get to an anvil. Did you have rope and stuff? The grocer? No. But we could buy from you. Um, eight mutton. Eat bread. That should be good for a long while. And who are you? Oh, the provisioner, right. Hatchet, paper, rope. You have the lamp oil. Alright, let's buy a lantern. And some lamp oil. Another rope. Cooking kit. A journal. Oh my gosh. Bedroll. There's more we gotta get. Alright. 
It's so exciting. Let's come out here. It's still dark. Let's see if I can... Go to... Field Items Lantern. <coughs> Doesn't seem to brighten this up out here, does it? Unless it did, and I'm just not noticing the brightness. Um, before I end this episode, I want to do this. I want to get to the blacksmith. <clears throat> we'll at least get a jump on this. I have a ruby, right? I bought another ruby. Maybe not. We need two iron ingots. Bone fragments from bones, sure. I'm tempted to use a dagger myself for that extra agility and crit and stuff. Alright, quickly, I gotta do this. Um. No, it's in fine crafting kit. Okay, which one do I want? Um, hmm. Probably the Knight's Bracelet. Or Resistant Bracelet for, for Liss. Yeah. She's a guardian after all. Give that to her. Cool. So that's going to wrap up this episode. She gets three extra resistance plus reduces the resistance to buff rate. Nice. No runes, but that's okay. Um, actually going to leave off here. So thank you for joining me. I do hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm going to get in the habit of saving twice, just in case something happens. Next time, we will go east, um, finally, and see if we can wrap up the bandit troubles that were going on to the east of Airman. And uh, have more fun. I hope you're enjoying, like I said. Um, I hope you're feeling like continuing the journey with me, because I definitely feel like continuing. So I hope to see you guys next time with more, much more to come. Much love, peace, and joy. Thank you so much, guys. Take care, and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.